What's up everyone? Moving on to more expressions to either evaluate or simplify on the test. So number one, we got a fairly complex one here. So we've got the seventh root of 64 to the power of 7 over 12 and that's all to the power of 4. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take any radicals, change them to rational exponents. So this seventh root of this whole expression I'm going to take that whole expression, so 64 to the power of 7 over 12, and I'm going to change it to 1 over 7. That's going to be the power of 1 over 7. That's like the seventh root of that. And then all of that is to the power of 4. Then from here, we could just multiply all of these exponents. So 7 over 12 times 1 over 7. Notice the 7s will cancel out. And then this 4 is like over 1. So the 7's cancel though, so we got 1 times 1 times 4, which is 4. So we got 64 to the power of 4 over 12 times 1 times 1 is 12. 4 over 12 is just 1 over 3. And the third root of 64 is 4. Right, so when you multiply these exponents, 7 over 12 times 1 over 7 times 4 over 1, you would end up with 1 over 3. You could try it in your calculator. Right, so the trick is, is just changing the seventh root to a rational exponent, and then you see it much more clearly. And then moving on to number 2, we got 9 to the power of a half minus 9 to the power of negative a half, all to the power of 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this bracket first. So 9 to the power of a half is 3, minus 9 to the power of negative a half, that's like 1 over 9 to the power of a half, and that's going to be all over to the power of 2. All right, so this would be 3 minus 1 over 9 to the power of a half, that's like 1 over 3, and that's all to the power of 2, and then here we can uh, get a common denominator and subtract these two fractions. This is like 3 over 1. So we could change that to 9 over 3. So 9 minus 1 gives us 8. It's going to be over 3, and this is going to be all to the power of 2. And then we can distribute that exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So 8 to the power of 2, 64. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So 64 over 9 is the answer for number 2. And then number three, this one's a little bit more complex. So we got uh, 2x to the negative 3 to, uh, times y all to the power of 3, all over 2 times xy to the negative 2 all to the power of 2, and then that's all to the power of 3. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the inside bracket first. I'm going to simplify that, and then I'll bring that um, exponent 3 to the numerator and denominator. So here, this bracket is all to the power of 3, so I'm going to take each of these expressions, take them to the power of 3. So we'll have 2 to the power of 3. We'll have x to the power of negative 3 all to the power of 3. And then we'll have y to the power of 3, right? This y is by itself. And then that's going to be all over. The 2 here is by itself, so that stays. Um, then what? We have uh, x, y to the negative 2 to the power of 2, so all of these terms go to the power of 2, so we'll have x to the power of 2, and we'll have y negative 2 to the power of 2. And this is going to be all to the power of 3. So from here, let's just simplify. So we'll have uh, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, Negative 3 times 3 is uh, negative 9, and then this here is y to the 3, all over 2, x squared, and then negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4. That's going to be all to the power of 3. And from here, let's just simplify. So uh, 8 over 2, that gives us what? 4 up top. This x to the negative 9, that's going to come down. So we'll have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 9 in the denominator, right? This is going down to the denominator. 
So 2 plus 9, that gives us 11. So this would be x to the 11. And then this y to the negative 4 is going to come up. So we'll have y to the 3 times y to the 4 in the numerator. So you add those, that would be y to the 7. That's going to be all to the power of 3. Then from here, this 4 goes to the power of 3. The y to the 7 goes to the power of 3. And then the x to the 11 goes to the power of 3, right? We're just distributing that exponent to the numerator and the denominator. And then i um, running out of room a little bit here, so I'll put the final answer over here. So that would end up being 4 to the power of 3 is 64. 7 times 3 is 21. And then 11 times 3 is 33. So that there is the final answer for number 3.